Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products and focus. So what we've actually seen kind of overnight is kind of equity markets, apart from the UK 100, are pretty much flat across the board, uh, whereas commodities have sold off strongly, and the US dollar is broadly rallying uh, across the board. And um, that's one of the reasons why the UK 100 has come off so much, because it's got such a commodity focus. You actually have West Texas crude trading below $40 as we speak. So this is where we are with the US 30, just above potential resistance, 17,747, now potentially acting as support. Longer term potential resistance, 18,112, followed by 18,284. Trading above both moving averages, almost have a bullish crossover on the MACD, and the other technicals are relatively neutral. Looking at that UK 100, you can see the negative candle that we had there on Friday was positive, got pushed into the red towards the end of the session. More red this morning, 6,300 is the potential support level to have a look at. Now we do almost have a bullish crossover on the MACD, it's not happened as of yet. The other technicals are neutral. Um, we are trading below that 21 period SMA, 55 period SMA could act as a potential short term cap, but that's where we are. UK market looking vulnerable should the commodity sell off. Uh, continue. Looking at Japan 225, prospect of monetary easing caused this to gap up this morning. It's a negative uh, territory f from the start of its opening price to now, uh, still higher than its close on Friday. Uh, 20,087 has been the potential resistance level and it's slowly creaking and grinding up higher and should re challenge that soon. Looking then at dollar yen, uh, the dollar had a bit of a jump back this morning after selling off a little bit more after the FOM FOMC sessions on Thursday. Uh, longer term potential resistance remains 124. Looking at the other equity markets, cables getting hit hard, euro dollars uh, moving lower, so dollar yen could be well positioned for a move to the upside. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, should the macroeconomic picture continue? And uh, we are seeing a prospect of. Uh, uh, quantitative easing in the eurozone uh, so diverging policy uh, aspects between the us and the eurozone uh, makes euro dollar kind of interesting but we'll come back to that in a second moving over to west texas crude you can just see the technical picture and where this is going right now 37 spot 50 is the next potential support very ugly candle on friday usually a strong uh, psychological uh, signal of a, of a reversal it tried to go higher, was in positive territory, got pushed all the way back down, even below its opening price into negative territory, and that's followed through with more pressure this morning. So that's where we are with West Texas. Gold is probably not living the dream either. Uh, on the wrong side of 1,072, the next potential support is around about 1,050. So we'll see where we get from there. Moving on to Euro dollar, you can see we're just slowly grinding lower, one of the lowest levels we've seen since April this year, with one spot 0524 being the next potential support level there. Uh, and we'll come back to that when we look at the macro data events today. Cable has had a really bad day on Friday, um, very, very strong uh, bearish engulfing pattern on Friday, uh, followed through by another negative candle this morning. We're actually trading at the bottom of the range for GBP USD, uh, and the next potential support is at one spot 5027. So macro data wise, what do we have today? We've got um, PMI for Germany, PMI for the Eurozone, uh, and existing home sales. You know, inflation related data for the Eurozone is pretty much redundant at the point where we're looking at monetary easing potentially to support the Eurozone economy, especially with all the new anti-terror uh, legislation, uh, they're ramping up new hiring, new technology. Uh, the European Union is going to be spending a lot of money on uh, surveillance and counterterrorism. So um, I would expect there to be uh, potentially a strong argument for further monetary easing sooner rather than later. Uh, Tuesday brings GDP for Germany, IFO business expectations for Germany, uh, GDP for the US, and then uh, CCI for the US again. Then Wednesday, you've got house prices for the UK, durable goods orders, and employment data for the US and crude oil inventories, which will be interesting for crude oil. It's getting quite close to $37 now. It's quite impressive. Right, guys, that gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect today in the backdrop of what's happening in Europe and the prospect of higher interest rates in the US. Keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.